For more than 40 years, Voyager 2 has been moving slowly through space, far beyond Neptune, into the darkest and coldest parts of our solar system. It was launched in 1977, a silent traveler guided only by signals from Earth, carrying with it the hope and dreams of all humanity. At first, people believed it would eventually go quiet, its signal lost among the stars. But recently, something unexpected happened. Voyager 2 sent back data that made NASA scientists stop and double-check their instruments. It wasn't just routine information. There was a sudden spike, a strange shift, something new. A line had been crossed, and it proved something scientists had only guessed until now. The edge of our solar system isn't just a soft blur. It's a sharp, clear boundary, a solid wall between two completely different regions of space. This line, called the heliopause, is where the sun's power fades and interstellar space truly begins. Scientists thought this shift would be gentle. They expected the solar wind to slowly fade like mist in the morning sun. But what they saw was sudden and powerful, like hitting a wall. One moment, Voyager 2 was inside the sun's protective zone. The next, it was outside in a completely different environment. Radiation levels rose quickly. Magnetic fields twisted in unexpected ways. The change was fast and clear. It was as if an invisible barrier had been broken. The solar system suddenly looked less like an open space and more like a protected bubble. Inside the heliosphere, radiation is filtered, and the solar wind keeps things in balance. Outside it, chaos takes over. High-energy particles flood in. Magnetic fields spin wildly and radiation reaches dangerous levels for any living thing. This discovery changed how we see our solar system. It's not just a small spot in space. It's a shielded place, protected from the galaxy's dangers. Crossing that shield means entering space that was never meant for us. It's a raw, violent place full of energy we barely understand. Voyager 2 also taught us that the heliosphere isn't still. It moves and breathes, changing shape with the sun's 11-year cycle. When the sun is active, the heliosphere expands. When it's calm, it shrinks. This means our protection isn't always the same. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 cross the boundary in different places, showing that the heliosphere isn't a perfect sphere. It stretches and bends like a comet's tail, shaped by the forces of space. Our textbooks never described it this way. That means Earth's protection changes too. It can weaken. It can allow more cosmic rays in. Our safety isn't always certain. In 2019, Voyager 2 went silent for a few hours. No one on Earth had sent commands, and yet it returned to normal on its own. The official reason was a small glitch or old electronics. But the data showed something strange, spikes in energy and magnetic fields. Some scientists think it hit a plasma pocket or passed through waves from a distant supernova. Others believe it may have entered an unknown region. Beyond the heliosphere, Voyager 2 found radiation and plasma levels that didn't match our models. It wasn't just random, it followed patterns. There were pulses of high-energy particles. The magnetic field moved in ways we couldn't predict. Something strange was happening. Scientists tried to link it to the sun, but the timing didn't match. It seemed more likely that something far beyond us was causing it. Maybe it was the remains of ancient stars. Or the invisible forces of our galaxy. But the truth is, we still don't know. Then came one of the most surprising finds. The magnetic field of the sun lined up with the galaxy's field, right at the boundary. Experts had expected turbulence and chaos, but instead they saw smooth alignment. It was as if the universe was more organized than we thought. 
Could the space around us be shaped by forces we don't understand? Was it always aligned, or did it change for the sun? This alignment might allow cosmic rays to enter more easily during quiet solar periods. The universe is not silent. It pulses with energy, it twists, it changes. It might even be watching. And Voyager 2 keeps drifting, sending us whispers from a place we've never seen. A place we may never reach. But every signal it sends teaches us more, not just about space, but about ourselves and our place in this vast universe. So, is Voyager 2 just a machine? Or is it the beginning of a cosmic conversation that started with us, and might one day get a reply? Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.